Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So, yeah, I was hoping to get the day started early. I was thinking that if we can make that treasure, locate the treasure, and hopefully it's got enough money in it, we can get ourselves that um, uh, construction helmet with the uh, lighting mod, like the light mod in the head. But I was like, oh, I'll just take off a little early, get everything ready to go. And then last night, uh, early on, a uh, Hawaiian zombie dude and two other... Uh, feral zombies actually showed up so I had to kill them and then I don't know if you can see it but right there there is a white there's a cop right there and there's another cop around here somewhere too I don't know where he is there's two cops the feral white and I think there's other feral zombies and then not just to top it off a pack of wild zombie dogs ran by there's one right there and there's a bunch that went with this way they went around that building so there's one down here and I'm like, okay, I can't, there's no way I'm leaving here and not get killed. So when the morning comes, I think the cops and the, and the uh, white will die off, at which point it's going to make it easier for us to get out of here. That dog's like right here now. So I loaded up my backpack with a, with a bunch of stuff we're going to need for the new place. I got the campfire. I made a uh, cooking pot last night, got a forage. We got our land claim block. I made a new bedroll. We're going to drop all that down there. We're going to drop this stuff, the organic stuff off there. Then we are going to go make our way to that treasure map. I'm hoping that there's a, there's coins or enough stuff in there to sell that we can get that helmet light mod because it is trying to do the series without that. Yeah, a bunch of these guys just died off. I saw one over there. That looks like the cop's dead there. That's just a regular guy. So we seem clear with the exception of the dogs, which I think we should be able to clear relatively easily from up here. Like that guy, yeah, spider monkey. This dog should go down. Yep. Let's try and kill this guy from up here too. I'll get that dog below us in a second. I made like 66 more arrows last night. That was all the feathers we had. Nice, that guy's gone. Come on, doggy, stick your head out. I know you're there. Okay, she's dead. Oh! They broke out my uh, frames here, too. Well, one of them, anyway. Where's that dog? Another one over there, too, somewhere. Okay, we should be able to get enough arrows into this guy to take it, him down. He's going to come back around. Here he is. Shit. Right here, you putz. Wasting all the arrows I made last night, but whatever. It's got to be done. Okay, let's harvest these dogs, too. We're not going to have to do this much longer. I'll just be leaving the bodies in the field. But for now, definitely need the bones for glue. I heard panting out here, too. Yeah, there's one over there. I'm going to leave them. Alright, let's harvest this guy. And then we're going to go to the new place. The third house in three days. What was that? It sounded like a spider monkey. Alright, let's just go. I was going to get rid of the blunderbuss last night, and I'm like, nah, you know what? If we can not use the 762 ammo, like if we use the blunderbuss to uh, take out like like single dogs that we need to take out or zombies that we need to take out with one shot uh, as opposed to using the 762 ammo I think that's probably a better way to do it all right let's go in here okay so there's room in here to put stuff down let's get the uh, where are you here sleeping bag 
Not the best place in the world, but that's going to do for now. This one's going to go right here. So this place is ours now. We can drop the forge down temporarily here. We'll drop the cooking pot right there. Drop that in there. Okay, now we can just go ahead and... It's in this place. We haven't checked this one yet, have we? No. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop some stuff in here. Eh, not that. And as much as I hate to do it, we can go ahead and store some stuff in the toilet. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Um, all right, we got to use some food here. What do we got food-wise? We're almost out of food. Uh, let's do this. Take those two. Let's grab these guys. Pull the bottled water out of there. Um, let's go in here. We're going to make some bacon and eggs. Uh, let's do that. So bacon and eggs. Cook those. And then we're going to go ahead and make one coffee. And I think that'll be it. I don't think we want to use the rest of that until we know whether we need it for glue or not. I don't think we will, but... So we can eat the bacon and eggs. Go ahead and have some water before we go. Use this. And I think that should be okay for today. All right, let's get going. Um, yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's not die. Oh, 534 meters is a lifetime away, but especially in the biome like we're in now. But let's see how we can do this. It's only ha it's only like what three five football fields. Okay, we got a, a working stiff tools right here with a big bear. That's not a good start. Let's go around this way. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. As much as I want to creep through this biome, we're going to get this job done today. We can't do it. Okay, although... Some things here that we want. I want to check this. Nothing. We need that for a couple of things. Oh yeah, more eggs, man. The more eggs, the better. All right, let's go up. And check these guys. Whatever we can get easy for free, we'll take. Anything good? Yeah, coffee. We can go ahead and scrap this guy. And we can scrap the nails for now. Okay. Hopefully we can find some more. Yep, eggs. Beautiful. Worst case scenario, we can just make boiled eggs, but it's really shitty on food. Now, I did hear a snake last night. I wanted to go down and kill the snake, but then it's like... The zombies showed up, and I'm like, there's no way there's a mine there. Um, there's no way I was going down there at that point. Um, the bear was over there, wasn't he? We've got enough ammo to kill him. But I'd, I'd rather not waste it. Oh, there he is. I hear you. Thank God for this POI, for this building. Oh, man. I don't think he can get up here. Like I said, I'm not using the 7.62 unless I have to. Watch how many shots this thing takes to kill. Now, granted, I'm body shotting it. So it's like not uh, ideal. Come on, lady, get your ass up here. I want to smoke you too before we uh, finish up this bear. Okay, go down there.
Gotta get headshots. Okay, we got her. Double shot of these guys. Oh, no, she's not dead. This guy's trapped in this house. So how many is that? I don't know. Eight or ten? Yeah, this, I think this POI was specifically put here in the wastelands so that you could hide from bears. Like, it's such an easy thing to get up, and the zombies do know kind of how to get up here. But, not always. There we go, he's done. Oh, man. And they don't stop following you, that's the thing. They just don't stop following you. He knocked the door out for me. Well, that's nice of him. Yeah, so like you can run and run and run. It doesn't matter. They don't. They just don't stop following you. Unless you have a place to go. They're just, just going to murder you. Alright, let's go ahead and spend our two skill points here. We're going to put one into Minor 69er to do more block damage. I'm going to add another one. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go here. We're going to go ahead and strike. Getting that first shot off. I'm gonna grab this too before we go. I don't know if we really need the leather, but we got leather on us, so we might as well take it. It's one thing we can sell to the trader. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll hold on to this for now. Tactical assault rifle back out. Watch him for bears. If we don't find a place like that. Like, if we get chased by a bear, like, in the wilderness, you're not going to find a place like that. So you got to stealth like crazy to just stay away from them. 300 meters. We're over halfway from there, from the traders to there, so I should probably grab this. I got a feeling arrows are going to be super important coming in the, uh, Days moving forward, so we better make sure we grab as much feathers as we can. Okay, let's get on the concrete. Don't have to worry about uh, landmines that way. Still got to worry about them on the POI because they're one of those random spawns that can spawn anywhere. Okay, 200 meters. Okay, so we know we got another one of those houses right there. Grab some nitrate powder. The other thing we got to worry about too is that the uh, mining nodes are very, very scarce in the uh, wasteland. We're not going to find um, we're not going to find oil shale. So the only oil shale we're going to get is whatever we find, like in mixers or whatever, or buy from the trader. Which means gas is going to be very scarce. It'll be whatever we can wrench, and that'll be it. So we got to be aware of that. Wait, is this a traitor? <gasps> this is a traitor. So one of the things this traitor I don't like about this guy in the wasteland is that dogs can fit through those bars. What's up, lady? So the bars here, they never used to be able to, but now they'll like, watch, see him right here? Watch, he won't do it now. I've had them come through these bars on me before. Yeah, see he can fit through there. He's just not doing it. I've had dogs and wolves come through these bars on me just when you think you're safe and a bear almost glitched through here on me once too but thank god he didn't make it okay no chem station which is fine because we've got a chem station at the other guy no mixer which crap oh we got a functioning workbench and no forge okay so we got a workbench and a chem station available to us so let's go on the map here Oh, the treasure's like right here too. Uh, save the waypoint. 
Yeah, I'll deal with you later, buddy. I gotta go talk to this guy first. Keep this out just in case somebody we breaks through. Great prices. Do you? Wish I'd known you were here. I would have brought stuff for you. I don't have anything to sell you. What do you got? You got eggs? I didn't bring my money. We should probably just check what he's got, though. Compound bow, crossbow, military armor schematic. Ah, crap. Chance of me seeing that again and anytime soon is going to be, like, almost nil. Uh, first aid bandages, gunpowder, ammo, double barrel shotgun. We don't really need it anymore. We got the attack rifle. Military gloves. You got a fair bit of food and water here. Electrical fence posts, those are nice too. Okay, so. Up the road. You yeah, there I is. Think. Okay, a bow schematic we can sell to you because we don't need that. So 160. I don't want to buy anything from him just yet. I want to see how much we have. Because like I said, the mining helmet would probably be a good buy. How are we doing for food and water? We're okay. Nothing big in there. How are you enjoying the wire? Apparently not that much, eh? Alright, let's go get this treasure. So I've devised a way to how to get this without having to worry too much about uh, people dropping in on us. Because this is going to be a big circle, I think. Oh, not that bad. Thought it was going to be a lot larger than this. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig down in the center, straight down. Then we're going to cover ourselves over. So this is kind of the center here, kind of. Okay, perfect. We're into clay now. One thing we do need for back at home, which is good. Okay, now normally... You could just cover yourself over with a uh, one of these guys, but we're going to go ahead and make wooden bars. And then we can just go advanced. Like that. That way, if anybody shows up over top of us, we can just shoot them and they can't get to us. Alright, let's start digging this shiz out. Alright, well, we finally found it. After a crap ton of digging, I don't know if you can see that, but... And this thing is locked. So... Alright. I'm going to actually break into this, believe it or not. I'm going to break into this thing because I came all this way. <laughs> so I'm going to break into this. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, about two in-game hours and 467 hits later, we're in. Oh, my God. It's like about six minutes of real time and 6,400. So was it worth it? Probably. These are exploding crossbow bolts. Exploding arrows and a spear we're not going to use. We're just going to scrap that. So, yeah, not bad. The six grand is definitely going to help out. Now we need to get out of here. So I'm just going to dig our way out real quick. So there's a dog close by we have to be careful of. Oh, I don't know if I can crawl up that way. Probably be able to leap out now, maybe? There you are. There's a lot of explosions going off over here by this military base. I'm assuming, I didn't hear anybody like gurgle or anything, so I'm assuming there was a bear over here. I don't know if he's still there or not, but... Okay, let's just harvest this dog for what we can get out of it. Head over to the trader over here. We got 6,400. I think it was 3,400 or something for the... Uh, for the uh, helmet. So let's just check what this guy's got. I know he didn't have a lot, but I think I'm going to buy those eggs. I know we don't have any meat. My next uh, skill point is going to be going into um, the hunter. 
what the heck is it called now? Uh, animal tracker. That's where the next point's going. Because then we can just sneak around and we can find snakes and we can go kill them for food. You get 10 meat out of them. It's not bad. All right, buddy. Like. Yeah, and I see your inventory. Uh, these are the arrows. These are the crossbow bolts, which we're not going to use. So let's go ahead and sell them for 48. Um, alrighty. So I'm going to take your eggs. I'm going to take your corn and your potatoes because if we find the recipes we can actually go ahead and plant those. I should buy five blueberries too and five mushrooms. So if we find the recipes we can go ahead and plant those. Now I probably should take all your gunpowder. What do we got left? 5,800? Uh, let's see here. Military armor schematic. Uh, puffer coats we don't need. Bicycle chassis would be a nice buy, but I don't think we should be spending the money on that right now. I think we're done here after we buy those. Uh, could buy the ammo, but I think we need our money. We know this guy's got a workbench, so we can come here and make ammo. Uh, yeah, so we need to make our way back. So let's go ahead and use this. Attack rifle out. We're going to speed it back because it's like 3.30 now. Almost 4 o'clock. Is that a bear? No, it's top of a house. Okay, taking the road. Stay away from the landmines. Hopefully we don't find ourselves in confronting a bear here. So what we'll do is we'll take this stuff back to our house, drop it off, go old back to our old building, because the old building has some stuff we want to sell to the trader. We'll grab that stuff, take it to the trader, sell it. Uh, we'll see if he's got any uh, sugar butts, because if he does, we'll use those before we uh, sell stuff off and buy things. So there's a passing gas here. Going to hold off till we have looter a little higher, I think, to hit up the passing gas. So we have a better chance of finding gasoline. That's the Shamway building. Keep your eyes open for bears, man. I know stopping is a bad idea, but I'm going to grab that now. Okay, John Hambone's radio. That's a pretty easy building to take out. I think there's a gun bag on top of there too, if I'm not mistaken. One shot, one kill. You saved my arrow? You did too, thank you. Okay, we're almost there. This is a really big town, it's nice. It's going to give us lots of opportunity for looting. Okay, we're just going to quickly go up this way. I think I'm going to have to make a storage container, though. Yeah, let's make a door, too. Uh, we're going to be locked in this room, like, for a while. Uh, let's just throw you here. Do it that way, I think. You're wrecking my house, you fucking dog. Where are you? I got the door. That's locked too. Come on, break it down. He's savage. Look at this guy. Come on. Hurry up. I got something for you. Fuck you. Wrecking my door. Alright, let's go take this stuff upstairs. I need to make another door too here. Oh man, this wasteland.
Okay, we're gonna do something here. And then we'll go ahead and make a hatch. We'll upgrade these later, but that'll at least let us give us the ability to fight at the door. Which I think we need. Okay, let's go drop this stuff here. I'll sort this later, bring this down. What else can we leave behind? I should probably take it all with me just in case. Alright, let's go. Oh, almost ran right square into this guy. Butt shot. He's just like sticking right out of his ass. I'm over here, buddy. Thanks for holding on to that. Uh, I can't be bothered harvesting that guy. Don't want to waste my time harvesting. All right, let's see what we could take to the trader. So this chest is empty. Uh, we could just carry it all. I don't have to come back. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. All right, so this place is cleaned out with the exception of that. And this can be broken now. Might as well take these. Break this down for some plastic. Okay, let's get to the trader boy. Finally got a chance to get a helmet light mod. It's sad that we gotta buy the helmet to get it, but... Alright, looking for sugar butts first. We did leave some stuff here too, so maybe we take that with us if we can. And no sugar butts. Uh, I, oh, hang on, I might buy food before we leave here. Looking for something special? I am. Let's see your inventory, buddy. I got some stuff to sell you here. Selling you that. Selling you that. Selling you that. Selling you that. And that. I'm gonna sell you... Yup. And yup. Ah, do we need pipe bombs right now? Probably. How much do I have? Oh, I dropped my coin at home. Are you kidding me? God, you're done browsing. Next time I'll charge you for that. I didn't charge myself for that. God damn it. We got time. We got time. Fuck off, I'm busy. Fucking doge. Oh shit, wrong thing out. Get the fucking bat on this guy. One more! Shit. I got an abrasion. That should do it. Yeah. And I'm infected. Because of course I am. God damn it. We'll heal that as soon as we get back. Actually, I'll probably not do it right... Well, for Christ's sake. Not do it right away. Forgot the abrasion is going to be like slowing us down here. Oh my god. Okay. Where's my goddamn money? Alright. Where is... I should probably put these on. Uh, where is... There it is. Nothing else I want to sell, right? Sort that later. Get the stamina regen while we're running. Leather jacket and these running shoes, man. Get some speed going on. Alright, let's take care of this guy this time. It's in our way. What's up, Bubba? Presents for you. At least I can hit them through the bush this time. That's great. Oh, 
Why does that sound like a horde? Probably just one idiot, though. Ah, uh, nope, nope. Screw you. I don't got time for you. I got shit to do. You got a helmet light mod to get? Everything is for sale. Is it? I hope so. Alright, uh... Armor. 3,000. Just for a freaking mod. But I have no idea. Best be on your way. Mobility minus 4%. I can't afford that. Not with bears around. Okay, let's get this into... Here. Yay! What's up, buddy? Now you look bright. How much is this? 192. Well, fine. We'll sell it. I could buy the AK. 40 range damage, 32 magazine size. What's this guy? 32 magazine size, 40... It's actually more, even without the mod. The mod only gives a plus 4. So we'll keep that one. Um, feathers, buckshot... Uh, I wonder how much the, uh, where is it here? Did I sell it to you? I thought I sold it to you. The, uh, military parts. 400. Really? Really? I'm not buying that from you. Uh, food. Do you have? No, you don't have any. You got lousy prices for food. First aid kit. Padded leg armor. Saves me. I can just make that. Robotic sledge. Bipod mod. Can't use. Anything for a bow? Not really, eh? Anvil and a structural brace mod might be worth it, but he restocks tomorrow, so... Well, what kind of lousy customer are you anyway? Don't even... Don't. Just don't. Pissing me off. Alright, what do we got here? Buy some pasta. Buy the can of stock. And buy the sham. One thing we're lacking on is food right now. We do have water. Let's eat these. Okay, we gotta find more vending machines too. Actually, can we? Oh. Oh. Oh, you. Yeah. Don't move out of the way when I'm shooting you. Am I actually hitting him? That one did. Alright, that's that guy done. Oh, I did miss one. We're probably going to end up starting to sell leather and stuff off. All right, that's that done. What can we hit up on the way home here? We got barely any time left in the day. That treasure was definitely worth it. It's weird because it's like, you don't know whether to go for those early or not. Cause like you need to have lock picks generally to get into them. But if you've got resolve like I do, it's like you just go. I, I don't care how long it takes me to break into it. It's way worth uh, breaking into it now and getting it early on than it is to wait around because you know you'll find more treasure maps as you go well hopefully you find more as you go along right and then you, you can just go after them later on but getting that one done early it's just such a huge jump start to the game you know I mean granted we didn't get that much with it although the military armor parts uh, is great or the, it's not, not the parts sorry the uh, uh, schematic because finding that's always hard at least I find it is so getting that early is like you know not a godsend but it's like definitely worth it overalls see military armor parts man nice now that we've got like we got light armor too right at level uh, at level one so we can make level two military armor once we find enough parts we got to find uh, we got to get 
um, military fiber, but hopefully the traders will have that soon enough. The next thing to do is kind of go into better barter and um, better quest rewards because I, I don't know, like, not sure how I feel about going out and, and uh, just doing those buried treasure quests. Because it's like, that's all we're going to get from these guys. Which is weird, because, I mean, it's a nitrogen map, right? So I'm not exactly sure why that was. I heard the glass break. I was waiting for, like, a horde of dogs or something to come breaking through. Just want to gather a bit of resources before we go home here. Something to melt down in the forge tonight. Can make some more arrow tips. I think we should... I don't know whether we should start working towards getting a level 3 bat or if we should think about going a different route. Like, we could go with the bow. It's not quite as good. Like, the melee is faster, right? So maybe it's, I don't know, like if we find the schematic for um, making exploding crossbow bolts and stuff, oh it's just mow over there, then uh, it would definitely be worth raising up the bow skill. Yeah, we're definitely making some farm plots and there's some meat for tonight, which is good because we're all out. Thank you. Grab some plastic. Now we're going to have to hold on to some of the plastic. Because some of the items later on we're going to need to make with plastic. Okay. Can get up here I think. Nothing there. Let's break this. Oh, here comes a wandering horde. Let's get the XP. Shit. Try and shoot the guys that don't see me. Out for mines. Let's get out in the street here. Look for bears first. All right, let's deal with these guys. Come on, punk. Big mama. Hoping to get in some bleeding wounds on these guys with the barbed wire, but it's not working. She's down. Just this guy left. There we go. And there's our level. Look at that. Just like that. Alright, let's grab some more iron. Oop, we don't have time. That delayed us. Alright, let's head home. In case you're wondering why I'm sprinting so fast, it's like I am keeping my eyes down looking for landmines the whole time. So... You look up for a fraction of a second and then look back down, <laughs> watching for landmines. All right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Oh, man. That was good. We ended up with a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and scrap this chair. I'm going to get the inventory sorted, put these back on. Uh, inventory sorted. Find out what we're going to sell at the traders tomorrow. we got to we got to check him out. Uh, probably dig up a bunch of the crap in here on the upper floor. Um... I'm going to have to fill this roof in because if it rains, we're going to be covered in water. But I think what we'll do is we'll make our 
uh, main part of the house over there for now. I'll move the stuff over eventually, or maybe I won't. I don't know, but we'll see. All right, so I end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And also put any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.